when we were being asked to translate a shape, we're being asked to move it. So this 3, 4 here is vector notation. The 3 means how far left or right. So this is left or right. And then we have the second one, the 4. This is up or down. So if it's a positive number, it goes to the right. And a positive number here goes up. A negative number goes left or down. So this one goes 3, right, 4, up. So we have to move this shape 3 to the right and 4 up. So if I take a point, I'm going to take this one here, I'm going to move it 3 to the right, so 1, 2, 3, and 4 up. 1, 2, 3, 4. So that becomes that point on the triangle. And then we can just draw the triangle. So 4 along, 2 down. And that's our new triangle. And use a ruler if you can. So that becomes our new triangle. We'll call it triangle B. Here we've got the same shape, but we're going to move it. Here's minus 2. So that means 2 to the left and 3 up. So that means 2 left, 3 up. So let's start here this time. 2 left, 3 up. So that becomes that top corner. And then we can just draw two along, four across, and draw the new triangle. And we'll call it B. Okay, describe the transformation that maps shape A onto shape B. So because the shape's just moved, it's called a translation. So it's a translation, that's the first bit of information. The second bit we need, we only need two, is by which vector, by how far. So by the vector, then how far right have we gone? We've gone, let's, say, let's go from the top right to the top right. We've gone one, two, three, four, five right. So five right, and then one, two, three, four down. So because it's down, it's minus four. So it's a translation by the vector, 5 minus 4. Okay, same question again. So we've got another shape that's just moved, so it's a translation. How, what's it by? By the vector. So again, we'll do top right to top right. It's gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 right. That's 5. And it hasn't moved up or down, so it's a zero. So it's a translation by the vector five zero. zero.